In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Progress Data Direct ODBC SQL Server driver on Linux. You can see I've already downloaded the installer from the Progress website. The first step is to untar the file. On the right here, you'll see I have a number of the commands that we're going to be using through this process. First, we'll run the tar-xvzf the progress data direct ODBC SQL Server Linux tar file command. You'll see this gives us a number of files, including the installer, which is the .bin file. Next, we're going to run the installer file. In this case, I'm going to run it at the console level. So we're going to take this command, paste it in. This is a dot slash with the installer name dash i and then console. This will force it to run in the console. We press enter a number of times to accept our end user agreement. We press y. We'll press enter to accept the default installation location. Press enter again to accept the evaluation. And then one more time to begin the installation. Now we'll change to the installation directory. Inside of that directory, we have a file called odbc.sh. That file will set several variables required in, to run the product. That would include our LD library path, the odbc ini, as well as the odbc inst environment variables. To run this, we're going to do a dot space dot slash odbc.sh. Now that we've set those variables, we can proceed to edit our odbc.ini to set a data source. We are going to use nano to edit the odbc.ini file, which was installed by default. Feel free to use the editor of your choice. Inside of this file, there'll be an ODBC data sources section. Inside of that section, we need to add the new DSN. In this case, we're calling it demo SQL. So I'm going to copy this in. We're going to set demo SQL equals to the name of the actual driver. Below, you'll see an example for the SQL Server driver's DSN. I recommend copying that to a new section at the bottom of the file so you preserve the original. In this case, I've created a new one on the right called Demo SQL. Inside of this, I've specified the database name here, Chinook. I've also specified the host name or server name for where you'll reach the database. We're going to take this section here, copy it, and paste that into the bottom of the file. Control X and save the file. Now we can proceed to test our connection to the database. To do that, we're going to use our example app. That's installed along with the driver in a directory called samples. We'll change directories to the example app. And then we'll run the example application. We'll enter the name of the data source, as well as the credentials to the database. 
Now we can issue a SQL statement, which will be run against the database. You'll see we're able to quickly query data from the SQL server. Thank you.